Johnny Pink. That famous, or the, the famous photos, James turned me on to these. Thank you, James. James's site is listed over here. But the famous photos you've seen of Los Angeles with all the snow are usually taken down that way. I like coming over here. I'm shooting at 200 millimeters on this if I zoom this way. There we go. And this is the shot that I got. Not bad. I like it tucked in here. There's not as many people. People are walking by on the path and they don't see you down here, so it's kind of, you're not intruding on anyone. Let's get into the regular video. pink and I'm back out here at one of my favorite areas I, I love shooting hummingbirds here at Han at Kenneth Han Park if you've never been here you really should come out it is quite a treat to be out here I, I, I just it's <laughs> they're everywhere I was just talking with this wonderful young lady out here and it was just meeting other photographers just talking to people that's half the fun of being out you're out and you're talking to people. Can't get any better than that. Today, I have, of course, Canon's 200 to 800 and the R3. Check this out. The reason I'm shooting the R3 today is one of the comments, first off, I like this lens better on my R5. One of the comments, and thank you, was to try it on the R3. I've been asked about the R8. I don't own an R8 and I, it's just not a lens or, or a camera body that I wanted to try, but I did want to try the R3. I've been afraid of how small the 24 megapixels is. I am, for all intents and purposes, I'm a whore. I want more. I'm a whore, give me more. I'm a whore, give me more. And I like all the megapixels that the R5 offers. I like to have all that detail. And the R7, the same thing. It's 33 megapixels, I want more, which is why I never liked the D500. Great camera, fast, super sharp, all this stuff, but it just didn't offer me enough for what I want. And other people are happy with it and fantastic. I was afraid of the R3. I will say that I love what I've seen in, in the camera so far. I love the autofocus in here. <laughs> so, 
depending on 24 megapixels. Let me show you guys some photos. Let me show you guys some photos and uh, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think of the photos and, and the quality. Check these out. I'm gonna go back to shooting for a bit. Now, since I'm gonna have this camera. Oh, wait, wait, my overalls. You like my overalls? This is the, holy moly, that was a hawk that just flew right. Wow. Overalls, the ultimate fat guy technology. I love these, they're comfortable. <laughs> but because I'm gonna have this camera for the next three days, I'm gonna shoot it as much as I possibly can. I'll probably continue to shoot it on the 200, 800. I'm gonna go home and look at some of these. Of course, you will have already seen these. I'm gonna try and get out to Sepulveda and I'm gonna try and get out to the beach as well to Malibu Lagoon. I love shooting there. And as long as the roads are open. And maybe Han Park, I mean, um, and maybe Gillette too, because there's ducks there, so why not? All right, let's, let's go shoot someplace else. I don't wanna spend all my time here. I've been shooting handheld video too. And there's one scolding behind you. He's just chattering away because he thinks you're too close to him. Yeah, I can hear He's it. It's a male. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. This camera is impressive. I will say that. It's designed more for the professional if you're if you're in an event. If you're shooting an event and you're hooked up through one of the ports here and it's feeding in, the reason for the smaller megapixels is it loads quicker. JPEGs, it, they all load quicker so they can get them up and published almost immediately. That's more what it's designed for. 
but it is really an impressive camera so I'm curious to see it when I get home. I'm going to go process some of these and look at them now and put them on Instagram. Beautiful. Let's go this way. Johnny Pank, I have been shooting Canon's R3 with Canon's 200 to 800. Pro level lens or a pro level body, so is the R5. The R5 is simply just an amazing camera going between the two. All the pelicans coming in at the same time. And well, I'm going to end this one here. Again, this was with Canon's 200 to 800 it's an amazing lens for what it is I think I had one question if you could only choose one would it be the 100 to 500 or the 200 to 800 probably the 100 to 500 because for what I do I like that shorter minimum focus distance uh, shooting dragonflies in summertime that's going to be the lens that I'll have in my hand or or the butterflies or any of that stuff I also think that it is just a wee bit sharper a lot more expensive and when you add the 1.4 on there you get 700 f10 800 f9 but again it is just that much sharper and the reason i prefer the r5 over the r3 is because i like having a lot more to crop into if you can fill your frame please don't poop on me as you fly over <laughs> Again, this is Malibu Lagoon, and I'm here for pelicans and shorebirds and whatever else pops up. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, uh, it's cold. Nose is running. If I could only have one, it would probably be the 100 to 500. But then I'm here right now for pelicans with my 600 f4 and the 1.4 extender on there. It gives me 840 millimeters, my absolute favorite uh, at an f5.6. So I'm looking forward to check these out, uh, checking these out when I get home. I will not have seen them. Johnny Pink, again, thank you so much for letting me share with you guys. Give it a thumbs up. Heck, if you're really into it, give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. It doesn't hurt my feelings. You have to have a tough skin to, be, to put yourself out online. So thank you, thank you for letting me share with you guys. I really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below, questions, any of that. I do answer them. I do, I do, I do. Thank you so much. You guys have a fantastic day. Johnny Pink, we'll see you guys.